Millions of people use Bitwarden and 1Password, making these password managers insanely popular, yet nobody needs both. So which password manager tool is the best for your needs? In this video, I'm gonna compare 1Password versus Bitwarden, 2024 updates taken into account, security features, ease of use. I'm gonna cover all the crucial parameters to make sure you know what you're getting into. The most important element of any password manager is security and privacy. So that's exactly what I'm starting with. Comparing Bitwarden versus 1Password, not many differences make their way here. Both password managers utilize the AES-256 encryption algorithm, the gold standard considered basically uncrackable. On the user side, the password storage is protected through a user-generated master password and multi-authentication options like biometrics, one-time password apps, or mobile notifications. 1Password goes a bit beyond here with a secret key. This key is stored only on your device and is used for all encrypting and decrypting processes. Without it, nobody can access your passwords. Even with that, can you trust 1Password with your data? Absolutely, thanks to the zero knowledge architecture that's designed to not let 1Password access any of your data. Bitwarden also follows these principles, so at the end of the day, your data is only available to you. That said, not everything is great when it comes to privacy. Bitwarden's privacy policy shows that it logs some of the user data and so does 1Password actually. So while typically that's not a massive issue, Bitwarden's US and 1Password's Canada jurisdiction makes this data accessible to law enforcement if they need it. While your passwords do remain safe, the same can't be said about some of your personal data. Not the best option if you're planning a heist, I guess. Still, I ultimately find 1Password a very secure option. The minor privacy issue doesn't lead to a lot of concerns. Is Bitwarden good in comparison? Yeah, I'd say so. The two providers are almost identical. So if you want the best password manager with the best privacy and security aspects, you can get 1Password with a discount. I routinely gather these links from my users and you can find those discount links in the description. Just click the link, the best deal is already applied. Okay, security is far from the only thing that makes password managers so desirable. After all, these apps are not simply strong boxes full of paper notes, right? They gotta be useful features in there, such as autofill. Instead of making you open the box, take the paper out and copy the password. This feature instantly fills the box with the fitting data. If you saved it before, obviously. Not only passwords also, 1Password or Bitwarden both allow me to save payment details as well. So this information can be auto-filled as well. That said, I do find Bitwarden a bit more convenient in this case. It requires just one click to open the password choice menu while 1Password's process can be a bit more complicated for beginners. On the other hand, I gotta admit, 1Password has a more varied password generator, a feature designed to create complex and secure passwords. Now, in 1Password's case, it also covers PIN codes, while Bitwarden can't boast such an option. At least both password managers are capable of utilizing pass keys. These are the new security standards aiming to replace passwords. Now, not all websites support these for now, but those that do allow a single click login process, both simplifying the process and making it more secure due to the unique nature of each generated passkey. So I've already generated passkeys wherever I can, so you just make sure to get on the train whenever you can. Don't worry if your passwords are not that secure in comparison. Bitwarden and 1Password can both detect reused and weak passwords while also suggesting stronger alternatives. Still, for me, the biggest difference in features lies in emergency access versus emergency kit. So the former is Bitwarden's feature that lets me set anyone as an emergency contact. In case something happens to me, that person would be able to access my password storage. This is an essential feature for sure, I live dangerously. But I do like 1Password's approach of the emergency kit more. Instead of a digital message giving access to the storage that could be lost or accidentally deleted, emergency kit is a PDF file that can be printed and stored locally. And I can even give copies to my family members. This, this little card with information has everything I need to restore access to my account, even if I simply forget the master password. If we're going for an in-depth 1Password review, this password manager overall offers more features than Bitwork. The travel mode is especially valuable as it secures my passwords, while I'm traveling, obviously, so I don't risk anything even if my device is lost or stolen. So as far as I'm concerned, 1Password is just slightly superior to Bitwarden 
warden when it comes to features. Of course, hey, all the major functions are covered equally, but 1Password just has that extra oomph that shows extra dedication to the user experience. Now, having all those features is nice, but it would be a shame if using them was a hassle, right? That's why I want to compare Bitwarden versus 1Password in terms of ease of use and more specifically user interface and experience. So looking at Bitwarden, its UI is kind of old fashioned. It works well, no doubt about that. But if you're more used to newer apps with more emphasis on straightforwardness and intuitiveness, 1Password has got to be your choice. Personally, I don't mind Bitwarden too much, after getting used to it, both mobile and desktop apps felt really nice to use. And I never felt confused or lost in the interface. Still, 1Password is just more fitting if you already have experience with similar apps. It follows a recognizable standard pattern of features, both on desktop and mobile devices. 1Password's app just felt like I'd already used it before. So I intuitively knew where to click and what to choose. Now, while this is very subjective, I get it. The objective reality is that both providers don't have the best customer support options. There's no live chat, so I can't immediately contact them for help. And I need to send out emails and wait days for the answer just to try and solve my issues through self-help forums. Since I typically need these apps for work, this is a huge downside for me. So while 1Password might be a bit more user-friendly, both providers really need to up their game as far as customer support is concerned. When all is said and done, both Bitwarden or 1Password seem like great options, but are they worth it? Looking at the price, the difference is apparent. So 1Password has more plan options, but I bet you're not interested in the business ones. As far as individual plans go, Bitwarden is a more affordable option. Even its family plan allows for more members than 1Password. So Bitwarden also has a free version, but it's missing emergency access and a few other features such as password sharing, file attachments, and more. That said, 1Password might be more expensive, but it's not pricey. The cost is still reasonable, especially if you consider the discount links that I've added in the description down below this video. Considering the price, Bitwarden is a cheaper option, but with all the features and level of security provided by 1Password, I think it offers a better value for the price. To conclude the 1Password versus Bitwarden 2024 comparison, while Bitwarden is a more affordable option, 1Password provides better security and privacy with more features to boot. So if you need the best password manager that can cover all your needs and protect your data, indiscriminately, 1Password is the best option you can get. That said, if you're fine with getting a bit fewer features and privacy is not the biggest issue for you, Bitwarden is an affordable option to consider. Remember that you can get a discount in the description below. Thanks for watching, stay safe online, and I'll see you soon.